Hey everybody, Dicky the Dude back again here in Gildrock, standing on this god-awful ugly carpet. I know, it is horrible. I haven't gotten around to replacing this. In fact, you may notice from my last video, I haven't done too, too much more in here, because I've had other priorities. And I do hope, before the end of the season, which is coming up very fast, that I have a chance to get to this from. But, I'm going to show you why it's not a priority. And, in fact, I'll show you... What the upstairs looks like because Jess or Lavender Mama has taken care of this design for me. She uh, she took a couple of the different elements that I had up here and just really expanded the design. I really appreciate everything that she's done. And uh, take a look at this, guys. I'm just going to do a quick little walk around for you. She's just got a great eye. She's actually an interior designer in real life. And uh, I'd love to be able to guild with her next season. I think we'd be able to complement our skills quite nicely. I do some decent builds, but my interiors, I, I try to work on them. I've, I've gotten better at them. You'll see a couple of them in this video, but she just nails it. And uh, we traded. I gave her a floor on Bob. That's right. You guys haven't seen Bob yet, but you will. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. No HUD on. I'm going to try and do this without dying. I don't want you guys to have any interruptions. So this is this is what I've been up to. This ziggurat right here is my current work in progress. I actually, I did some uh, work on the interior this morning. So I'm, I can show you some of that. I, I still have some work to go. I got to do a ceiling. I started to actually do a little trim there before work. That'll get done later. I'll give you an update for now. I did some sort of a, uh, I want to do like a rib cage kind of design for a central kind of chandelier almost above this big meeting table that we can all sit in. It's not like my uh, my minecart chairs where you can actually sit in them, but the effects there. And then these, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, um, a, a sensor dish of sorts. I've used a shrieker anvil, some stairs, and I, I think it's just got a good kind of ethereal, yet almost gothic, dark, ancient civilization that was obviously practicing some sort of black magic. I mean, look at this. Look at this magma. It's just floating there. I love Skulk. I do. I've been spending a lot of time in ancient cities, and I might I might actually be going a little bit Skulk crazy. Yeah. Oh, boy. All right, so uh, let's go upstairs. A little elevator design. This is the map. This is what we just flew over. So it's coming along. I'm going to stretch out over this way a little bit and a little bit this way a little bit. And then we're going to just finish getting the, uh, the border in. For the border, I've been doing a little bit of Podzol. A little bit of pack dirt. Or not pack dirt. I always do that. Coarse dirt. Yep. Podzol. Coarse dirt. Simple yet effective. Pulls us away from this ne netherrack in a clean way. I'm glad that... Uh, I got a chance to show you nighttime. I don't think Barn will sleep right away, but he might. These are the new custom nether trees. He actually helped me design Barnster. Um, he put together one of them right over here. He put this one together. I like it. And then he put this one together. I like that too. So I just kind of started running with these designs. Uh, that one might need another frog light now that I'm looking at it, but Cute little toadstools, nice kind of spiring uh, mushrooms here, and then we've got a skeleton, just a big, big old giant skeleton. I'll get a nice 
aerial view. The giant that died in the soul sands. Hopefully they don't get blown up by creepers. It's relatively mob proof out this way. The amount of light that I've got going on. But the borders do tend to get some mobs. These guys back here made a big old mega out. I'll, I'll just come over here. <laughs> I'll try not to do that again. A big old mega stem. And then we got another big old mega crimson stem right over here with a cute little piglin getaway. For you and your piglin misses, this bloody encounter could be yours. At a low price of five diamonds. I don't know. Sounds like a good price, right? And then over here on the back side, I don't mind doing this at night. Oh, Barnster made this skeleton. Reads quite well on a map and from above. It's kind of like a dinosaur almost. But back here, I started making these uh, obsidian geodes. And it's just kind of like you get some black stone. And then you come into this just obsidian hole almost. And it's not that deep, but just the way obsidian plays with light. And then if you just kind of walk over here and see, there, there's nothing. There's nothing there. I swear. Ta -ta. A secret underground ritual chamber. I, I rather like this design. I'm going to put a little bit of redstone dust on the floor to simulate some blood. Maybe a couple things on the table, but I just like suspending lava. Love that kind of teal and purple on the black and trying to get some of that red in there. Just some of my favorite colors. It's funny because next season I have every intention of doing an entirely natural scene. I'm going to go with something a little bit more uh, elven, fairy. I don't know. Uh, I was going with solar punk at first, but it seems like everybody wants to go solar punk. So we're going to do that probably at a spawn. You know, I, I don't know what guild I'm in, but it seems like at least half of them are doing some sort of cyber, solar, or steampunk. What are you doing out here? Oh, I, I didn't show you. I'll show you the portal at the end. We'll, we'll go take a look at the portal at the end, but I want to give you a quick out. Quick tour. This is the nether hallway. Just a nice repetitive pattern. Keeps it simple to be able to extend it long, but I, I like the aesthetic. And then I've got this like little kind of stem popping out of the ground grotto as you walk in. So the, uh, the general effect is this right here. And you've got S.E. Dickie the Dude Ancient Ziggurat Infestation. It's kind of the name I wound up landing on. But we're going to get over out. Oh, please just eat some carrots, Dickie, because you don't know what your hearts are at. And we don't want to ruin the magic, right? I got, I got carrots, right? Yeah, I got carrots. Okay, that's enough. Uh, rocket. And SD. I know it's been quite a while since I've done a video, so uh, I really just kind of want to give you an idea of what I've been going with at the moment. And then I think next video I'm going to do a good, um, good walkthrough of what other people have done. But I know there's a number of them. I can share links at the end of the video of our amazing shopping district. This is Bob. This is Bob. I'm going to do that again. Sorry. Bob. Big old building. I just, I wanted to do a cyberpunk structure and I, I felt like it needed to have a lot of things just kind of slapped on it. And I came up with Bob. Bob even has a face. Let me take you... Let me take you inside, Bob. Out. I swear. I start talking, and I can't fly. I, I, I just don't get it. Why can't I talk and fly? Because I've got ADHD. Anyway, speaking of ADHD, here's Bob. That's not Bob. That's Bob. Hey, Bob. How you doing today? Maybe we'll give Bob a voice next season. Right now, he is just the face of the skyscraper. Little uh, tropical fish tank. 
little lounge area. I actually did the interior design in this place. This one was me. Oh, somebody put books down? Oh, today in GR Daily, Lockley Coin continues to make an attempt at the open market. The bank is still slated to be open soon. Nano built a glided server buster. Wolf provided us all. Wait, Wolf pr proved to us all that it's time for a new season with his shulker of DB. I was here. Uh, so unless, is there a new page? No, new page. We're going to have to do one with Wolf's Nethrite Beacon. Yes, yes, people. I just said Nethrite Beacon. He made a full stack, six beacon, Nethrite Beacon for his final thing for the season. And he has a full diamond beacon. He's got diamond blocks all over his floor. This dude is just nuts. He collected a full shulker of diamonds. And he's like, I'm going to go break apart the nether right quick, grab all the ancient debris, and uh, I'm going to do this before I even hit 1,000 hours. So, yep, that's Wolf. Also, somebody I'd love to team up with next season. Anyway, uh... If you have any issues, you can uh, please speak to the manager. Uh, no, I'm not the manager. I'm the clerk. Shh. All right. Anyway, Akimitsu has designed this elevator right here. This is our landing platform. Bam. Got a little block of snow underneath there. And these are all the people who are currently renting or own floors in Bob. That's right. We've got it all stacked up. I actually don't have... Um, the uh, solar punk floor up there, so I'm going to have to add that later. Floor 1, Scotty. He is dangerous with that thing. I, for I always forget that he has that there. Um, sometimes it's exper experience potions, other times it's arrows. Look. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Freaking Scotty. But He's got some great potions going on here. And he's got all sorts of mending books and experience potions. And he calls them... Wait, he doesn't call them that here? He does have a term for it. He's like lighter fluid or something. Where's his lighter fluid? I know he's got it in here. Danger, potions, call Scotty for prices. Oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Floor two, sir. Luck. Nice little office. That way he can meet his clients as he discusses Lockley coin. Wait, why doesn't he have any Lockley coin in here? Hmm. No Lockley coin. That is very unlike Lockley. Maybe he's worried about somebody stealing it. I'll show you mine later. I still have to show you my item sorter. So then we've gone to floors one, two. So we're going to go up to Akimitsu's floor, who actually just finished designing a potion shop. Nice lights, Aki. Yeah, I like that. Some nice displays and stands. You got a funky mushroom. Very cool. Drip leaves. Yeah, beautiful, dude. And if I recall correctly, this is a potion shop. Night vision box. Six diamonds per box. Oh, that's really good. I'm going to have to come back and grab some of those. Invisibility po box for uh, six diamonds per box. Oh, the pranks, man. The pranks we could have. Yeah, let's let's just do this. Let's just do this, guys. Okay, I'm not going to wait. Uh, bam. Uh, we'll go with these. Yeah, I, I've collected quite a few, too. I could probably make... I made a diamond beacon, actually. I like Aki. I'm giving him a tip. He's one of my guild mates anyway, so, you know. That's how we do. <laughs> Bam. Uh, yeah, we're just going to toss Precious back in there. This is Precious. With this precious purple box. Mm. The herbal I don't know if I can actually use that. I, I'm doing the voice. I'm, I'm not ripping it off, so. <laughs> I could probably use it. Come on, Falcon. Falcon. Buddy. Bro. I'll help you with your base. I'll help you with your build. Just let me know. Let me know what you want. I will help you. <laughs> Another guild member said he wanted a floor. He, he gets to keep his floor. 
Jess. Jess bartered for her floor. Let's close these doors up. Nice little private session. This is her interior design studio. Uh, she calls it IDEA. I-D-E-A. <laughs> Request design services right here. I still have a couple of vouchers, so I might have to uh, wrangle her in to do my bottom floor. That way I don't have to worry about it. Focus on the valley. She's showing off some of her uh, design skills here. Different desks, chairs. She's got some uh, dining room furniture over here from the looks of it. Nice sofa or a sectional. Ooh, nice bed. I like that. I like that. Oh, somebody break one of your crystals from the looks of it. I, uh, I'll let you fix that. I'll try to remember to remind you. Another uh, nice sectional here. Oh, kitchen. I like your kitchen. Hey, little sink. Perfect. Perfect. Just great. Oh, and she's got supplies too. She's got candles, crystals, all that kind of stuff. Anything you might need to design the inside. And then we got Salty. Salty Monkey. Uh, looks like he hasn't replaced the Netherite backup box. Anyway, Diamond Box. Pretty cool. You die. He's got you kitted right out. You just got to come up with 125 diamonds or 170 if you want full enough, right? Obviously, that kind of stuff will change next season, seeing as how we're all going to have to pay dearly for our enough, right? But good, we get trim. We do. Sam, private floor. They got their private storage going on. Uh, they've got some other stuff going on up here, too. I think. What? Oh, that's... Guys, I just thought that was inside. I'm looking outside. That's that's stuff I've done. No, okay, he cleared the floor. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. And the walkway out to the upper gardens. Akimitsu is supposed to do this one, but I might jump into that before the end, just to make sure it's done. I did this one. Nice little tree. I think it's time to show you my office. So, I made myself a little garden up top. Nice little stripped birch tree. Some glow berries. It's quaint. It's quiet. It's a great view. My office. I designed this one myself. I only used the, the one Jess voucher back at the, uh, the bedroom. But seriously, I had a lot of fun designing this room. I uh, gave myself a little carpet with the uh, good old base map. People can keep an eye on my progress without having to come and visit. Nice little armor stand and glass. Some uh, some storage and whatnot. A little bit extra storage. Some knickknacks. But this. Oh, actually, before I show you the solar tower, I'll show you the axolotl pond. Hey, buddies. How's it going? Just a bunch of. Axolotls hanging out in a dish. But this is the solar punk tower. The only floor currently is purchased by Josh. He just uses it kind of as staging ground, but he's got a quite the map going on himself up here. I dig his volcano. Did a lot of farms over there and stuff too. But this right here is our impending doom. That's right. The end of the season is nigh. Soon these meteors are going to crash down into our lovely shopping district, including this kind of slightly messed up guild rock meteor that I designed. <laughs> this is the Gildrock logo. This is me attempting to make it 3D but not over overly big. Not not horrid. Not not great, but serves its purpose. While I'm here, I'll show you my uh pillager outpost. That's right. This is my raid store. I've called it Pillager's Blunder. I got a little custom tree as you walk over to the bridge. They've been putting banners everywhere. 
warning of the meteor, the impending meteor devastation. Bridge to give you a little bit of a trip on the way over. <laughs> and then I've got the ice box down underneath where I sell ice. Shulkers of ice. Stacks of ice. Blue ice. Regular ice. Packed ice. You name it. I got it. I'm the ice guy. Call me the ice man. And up we go to the villagers plunder. This. Oh, looks like somebody's been here. Maybe I've got some sales. Check the arrows. Check the sugar. I'm going to check all the stuff. I'm just going to kind of speed through as I check. And top side. Ugh, I forgot to replace my shulkers of emeralds. We use that for a big old custom beacon during a demo project. But, oh well, there we have it. There is the pillager's plunder and icebox all in one. Last but not least, we have the uh, sinkhole sundries. Made myself a little signpost here just to brief highlight of some of the stuff we carry. That's right, got apples. And come on down into this cave, give you a little instruction of how to use the shop, and then you come on over this way, and you've got iron and string and dark oak oh my. It's just kind of a menagerie. It's a, uh, a an amalgamation or a collection of all just stuff, stuff that I'm willing to sell. But like I said, I, for a while there, oops, for a while there I was uh, going down to the ancient city and doing a lot of raids. It's where all my god apples and all the swift sneak books and stuff came from. Oops. I, honestly, I think this price might be a little bit high, but it's the end of the season. It's more or less fun. Really, nobody's going to want a god apple for anything but PvP, so you know, I'll make it expensive to have pretty much an instant kill on somebody. So we're just going to swing back to base right quick. Ow, 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 ow. We're going to swing back to base right quick. Okay, I'm going to probably turn my HUD back on now that I've shown you most of the stuff, but I've shown you the inside and the outside of the base, but I never showed you the underside. That's right. We have a whole underside now. But, so usually, uh, just run right on my base. I close the door. I throw a shulker in there. And then I load that off. And then I just go about doing whatever I'm doing. You know, grab some glazed terracotta out, go about some building, or work on my item sorter. Got some bulk storage going on down here. This section was here for a while. You may have seen it in a previous video, but I know you didn't see this. This is new. And then it comes over here to a dropper. Drops it on down here. Oh, you see it? There she goes. And that brings it down to a multi-item sorter, which courses along this way and then comes back around. Those guys are in the nether flora, so you'll see them start stacking up in here at some point. But you can still watch everything just kind of drop down there. It goes at dropper speed instead of hopper speed, so. Little lava setup, little stone generator. Left a little room for uh, something else, and I've got shulker loaders, just basic ones. No, uh, no auto sh shulker loaders this season. That'll that'll be next season. But shulker loaders that run each time items are being processed, and they'll fill up. So, like for instance, got some stone going in here. Stone here and stone, oops, stone here. Plenty of stone. Loads of stone. I guess you could call me a, a stoner. You know. Huh? Huh? <laughs> and then last, before we get going, I want to show you how our spawn's coming out. 
Spawn Town is looking fantastic. It was started with the Spanish theme, slowly grew into a bit of a, a Roman theme, and that's evident from our uh, Colosseum and not so leaning Tower of Pisa. That's right. That is the Tower of Pisa, if it wasn't built on what limestone, I think is what it was built on. Then we have this lovely church right over here. Beautiful church. Wonderful chandeliers. And a great museum with some some of our artifacts. Yeah, all, all the good stuff. All the good stuff. And the Orange Gang. That's right. We had a we had a batch of criminals going around covering people's stuff in orange wool. Hijacking posters with these orange faces. And and you know what we did? We brought them to court. We brought them to court right over here. That's not the door. Guys. Spruce sometimes just trips me out with the doors. Like, that's the door. Not that. That. <laughs> anyway. Courtroom. Got some, uh, some benches. Then we have the counselor's bench. We have the uh, defendants and the prosecution. The judge sits right up here. Oh, uh, stairs are on the other side. The judge sits right up here. And calls. Calls the court to order. Here, here, here. <laughs> Legal mumbo jumbo. <laughs> uh, I was part of a, a murder scene in this court. Uh, Lockley. He killed all of us. Except for Tanya. Because uh, don't know if anybody knew this, but Tanya is an immortal. And has not died at all in her like 1500 some odd hours playing the season last but not least oh well I, I can't say last but not least I gotta show you the vineyard too but I really I really want to show you our map this is fantastic really come along so there we've got the shopping district there we have spawn we're right here that's us but look at this like, everybody's done such a great job. I'm going to orient myself like this. Yep. North, south, east, west. There's my base. BSP's massive pyramid up behind me. Uh, that, I believe it... Nope, this is Nano's. Who's is that? I'm not sure who's that is. We've got some big bases this season. Like, look at this stuff. Look at all this. The Lockley City right there, too, with the big old bridge. Just... Nuts. Nuts, I tell you. Excellent. All right, so last couple things I'm going to show you over here in Spawn. We have just past the museum and the church, the newest addition, which is the vineyard. Really well done with the, uh, the wine house. Leave right over here. This is VL Guild's contribution. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jess and Hakon, I believe April's helped out a little bit. I don't know if Cyclone's helped out, but they've, they've just, they've done a great job at this. Look at that. Crushing the grapes. Oh, guys. I haven't actually come in since they've done this. This this is great. Get some wine kegs. Ah, oh, wonderful. And, uh, this little house. Beal Spawn Clubhouse. Made themselves a little clubhouse to hang out, probably to store some materials and stuff too. Oh, they're they're stashing all the wine in here. I see. They got the party, party. It's a party. It's a party. All right. There we go. And next time I shoot a video in the spawn area, I'm hoping that uh, Akimitsu and myself, and hopefully with some help from Falcon and Scotty, get our spawn build in it's going in right here doing a gaudy house i'll throw a little uh, screenshot up here now aki's been designing this in creative mode and it's based on the original antoni gaudi house uh k 
can't remember the name. I'll splash that up on the screen here too. But Aki was really excited about it. We all decided that he uh, he had just the passion for it and uh, the drive to get it done, and has proved it proved us correct. So, well, I think that's it for now, guys. Next time I shoot a video, it's going to be a nice slow walk through my Nether Valley. I'm not going to do any running. I try not to do any flying. Do a nice, just nice long walk. But I am going to try and get better about shooting more videos. And uh, coming season seven of Guild Rock, Barnster and I are going to spur each other on to do Twitch streaming at least once a week. So look forward to that because I know I am. I'm going to make sure my sound gear and streaming equipment is all fine and dandy. I've got fiber optic cable now for my internet, so my speed should be up to par. All right. Peace out.